most of the time during the show there are lots of half um, undressed people around, if you're into that kind of thing. I think everyone in the show has at least like five costume changes. I'm not in it for very long, but this is the costume that I think I look most handsome in. <laughs> and that is why I like it. The, the main thing about all of these costumes is they're very tight, I guess. That's what the people, the powers that be, decided uh, should be the case. Always a bit obnoxious when you see a guy with, um, with uh, his shirt cut off here, but I guess that's who I am at the start of this show. These are the first costumes that you actually see. These are all the girls' costumes. I always step on their dresses. I mean, that just, that just happens. But you, you, I just fortunately, so far, I've, I've known every time I've stepped on a dress, and yeah, I felt it under my foot and very quickly moved away. But yeah, um, actually, Madame Morrible has one which has a huge train behind her. But actually, when we're walking onto, onto the stage a couple of times, I've kind of held her back, and she's been like this, and I didn't even realize her. I guess I should be less clumsy with that. <laughs> This is my West End debut. It's pretty cool to be kind of making that in uh, <laughs> kind of like a sure hit, you know? <laughs> I, I, have to, I have to channel, you know, a much cooler version of me um, when I'm opening the show with Fiera because he is, you know, he's much cooler than me. It's fun being in a situation, even if it's pretend, where everyone, everyone wants to be with you or be you, you know? <laughs> Last time I saw you, I was you... seven. Yeah, I remember. <laughs> EastEnders, when I think back on it, it feels like a dream because it, it just doesn't seem like real life. <laughs> I can leave here and just go and get on the tube and go home and, in, and my life isn't really impacted other than doing the show, whereas on EastEnders it just takes over your whole life. You can't go anywhere, you know, without, without people kind of rushing up to you and kind of wanting to take pictures and stuff, and that's just so strange. We've had some nice people though that have kind of followed me from, from East Centers or whatever and, and kind of have seen the show and then made a point to stand at stage door and say hello and that's, that's a nice thing, you know, and also probably a bit weird for them. I can't imagine many people thought that Jerry Browning would be dancing and singing around a stage, you know, every night um, for a living, but he is. I'm kind of going out to around 2,000 people a night here, which seems like a lot, but when you're doing EastEnders, you're going out to like 8 million. So, so it, there are pressures in different ways. Will I see you again? Maybe. I, I don't think there'd be a reason for him to go back there unless he just left something behind, you know, left a jacket that he likes. <laughs>